Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia. Today I have a full body workout for you. Um, you simply need your mat. We'll use body weight and gravity to do all the exercises. So let's get started right away. Have fun. So we'll start in a supine position, lying on our backs. If you want, you can use a cushion under your head if you want to support your cervical spine. Let's take a moment to uh, to stabilize the position, so find a neutral position with your um, pelvis. You can rock forward and back to find that neutral position, your sacrum really pressing onto the mat. So let's bring our arms up to the sky. Inhale here and exhale. Open your arms. Inhale up. Exhale two. Inhale up and exhale three and up and four. Really feel your chest opening here and support your arms. They don't really uh, stay on the floor, but you keep them hovering over the floor. And a couple more times, exhale here, inhale up and exhale. Bring them up and keep them here. So make sure they are at shoulder level. Inhale here and we'll go into scissor our arms and exchange. So switch this scissoring movement and breathe freely. So here make sure your chest is open and stable so you're not really bending or making any movement with your chest. We're really warming up our shoulders now and finding a moment to connect with the breath here couple more times and then come up and we'll start with some circles inhale bring your arms overhead and exhale the full circle inhale up and exhale while you complete the circle inhale and exhale if you feel any discomfort in your shoulders you can always do a smaller circle or stop if you'd like one more this direction, stay up, inhale and switch direction. Exhale when you go down, inhale over your head and exhale two. Inhale up and three. Couple more this direction, four. And one full circle and come up. Stay here, bring your palms forward. Inhale here, we'll add a flexion, a thoracic flexion. Inhale and exhale when you come up with your chest and shoulder, you bring your arms down at hip level. Inhale, come back down and exhale. Bring your chest to your hips. So really engage your abdominals here. Three and back down and keep going. If you feel that your cervical spine needs support, bring your arms um, behind your head. So feel free to modify in this sense. Otherwise, you can always continue with your arms extended. When you come up, feel that your navel is really being drawn into your spine. Really feel your abs working. And bring your look so gaze towards your hips when you come up. So next time that you come up, bring the right leg tabletop and come down. Always the right leg for five times. Two, and come back, and three, and down, and four, and one last time here, five. And then we'll switch leg. Left leg comes up, one, and down, and two, down, and three, down, and four. On the next one, we'll stay up. So make sure you are really pressing with your arms. It's like you want to touch that wall over there. So start by lifting both legs and toe tap. 
So your spine is completely pressed onto the mat. So you're in your imprinted position and you're switching your leg. Make sure you keep the 90 angle in your knee. And we'll do four, three, two, one. And release down and bring your arms down. So we'll do 100 here. Remember that when you do 100, the movement comes from the shoulder. So you have a straight arm and you're really pumping your arms up and down. We'll use the toe tap. So we'll switch the, the tap every 10 counts. So you can, you can either bring your one arm behind your head or both arms pump up and down. Inhale, prepare and exhale, come up, bring your right leg up and just the, the toes are pointing on the floor on your, on your left foot. And in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five and in, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five and in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Bring your knees to your chest, release your head, and rock gently from side to side with your hips. Make sure you release any tension. You can bring your neck, you can turn your head right and left if you want to. And then release. So we'll, do, we'll go into the double leg stretch. So we'll imprint your spine and come up with one leg tabletop and the other leg tabletop. So your chest is up. So you have this thoracic flexion going on. Your arms are doing like our bending and stretching overhead and then they're doing a small circle. So this is the movement you are going to do with your arms and in the meantime you are extending your legs. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale a couple more times. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and bring your legs down and rock gently from side to side. Here we'll prepare the seal. So if you open your legs and make sure you 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 you, you have your hands over your um, like heels. So start rocking gently up and down, make sure you don't really lie with your head on the floor. And if you can, come up and see if you can stay in this position. You're in a gently imprinted position and you're opening your, your chest, you're really pressing the shoulders down. Inhale, come down and exhale. Keep your balance here and inhale, exhale. Keep your balance, so it keeps your abs engaged. Inhale down and exhale up. So stay here. Inhale down, exhale up. We'll do one more. Inhale and exhale. Stay here, keep your balance and then release. Well, nicely done. Now we'll stay seated with the, uh, with the feet hip distance apart. So your arms are elongated in front of you. Make sure your shoulders are down, you find your sit bones here. Um, and now we'll do a um, gentle C curve. So uh, release down, inhale, come up, and exhale, C curve. So you're drawing your navel to the spine, really um, going back of your sit bones. So you want to find your sacrum on, on the mat. So make sure you're comfortable in going back, 
but that you don't make any too much effort to come up. So make sure you are able actually to come up to your sit bones. If you want, you can try and go down a little further every time, but make sure you have the strength to come up. And always feel your sit bones when you come up. So we'll stay down, halfway down, with your, imagine that your elbows are on a, on a shelf, so they don't really move this way. So bend your elbows and extend, bend and extend. So keep your elbows stable. So the aim here is to work our biceps, which is this muscle. Um, if, you, if you want to um, go a little deeper in your C-curve, you can, as long as you find that C-curve and it stays there. We don't have any resistance, we don't have any elastic band or we don't have any weight, but you can imagine that you are moving through a thicker substance than air. Like for example, I always think about honey. So think about moving in honey. So you actually find resistance in this exercise. So make sure you're really using those biceps. So now stay with your arms bent. Inhale here and open your arms. One, and come back, and two. So here, feel that your abs really, really working. And four, and come back. Five, three more, six, and seven, and eight. Just one little bit more, one little more exercise. And like pulse your elbows up, like you want to reach with your fingertips on the, to the sky. So it's really small and make sure you feel those biceps working. 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then extend your arms forward and reach forward. So dive in forward and then gently roll up and roll a couple of times the shoulders back. So we'll release any tension in the neck and shoulders. Then we'll, press, we'll place our hands behind our hips, uh, feet our hip distance apart, and uh, make sure when you come here, have a neutral position, so you're not really collapsing with your back, but you're supporting it with your back muscles and the abdominal muscles. Here, we'll lift the pelvis and make sure we find this alignment between the shoulders, the hips and the knees. And you have your gaze in front of you, so don't look back, but really gaze in front of you. And whenever you come back, you're really, you can hover over the floor. So you, if you can, do not really um, stay on the mat. And exhale too, <sighs> feel your glutes engaging. And come back and three. Inhale, come back. And four. And keep going, five. Your shoulders are far away from your ears. And six. And down and seven, keep going, and eight, and a couple more, nine, and ten. So we'll, we'll come back halfway, and here we'll bend gently our elbows, so we're looking to work on our triceps, so we'll pulse, we'll do little pulses, Pulses, make sure you're not pressing with your hands, but using your, your arms to lift slightly and to come back. So by this time, you should feel a little burning in your triceps. Let's do 10 more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend, make a last push up to the sky. Stay here really press down your shoulders and then gently release and give a little rotation to your wrist just to release any tension you feel there very nice so here let's go to the front of our mat 
and let's cross our ankle so we transition into a plank position so here make sure you're um, really pulling your legs into the chest look forward now bring your arms your hands down like you want to start a plank a push-up position so now press into your hands lift your pelvis extend one leg and the other leg so we'll go into a plank position so stay here make sure you're connecting your abdominals you're engaging your glutes you're pressing into your hands and now we'll transition into a downward dog so press your hips up if you want you can come a little bit closer with your feet so elongate your spine move your gaze to your knees or to your navel and then gently pedal your feet so find length in the back of your legs and gently continue pressing into your hands so the feeling is you're pushing your chest into your knees and then straighten your legs we'll roll the spine to a plank position and from here we'll bend the knees and we'll gently go down on the floor from here we'll do a little cobra inhale come up gently press into your hands extend your chest and then come down so untuck your untuck your feet press into your hands and come back to the plank position and then into the downward dog so make sure you're really pressing those heels on the floor and from here we'll do this waving motion to your plank stay here just a moment and then bend your knees untuck your toes and like really gently to the floor and from here press gently on your hands cobra and come down and then tuck your toes press onto your hands and move to downward dog and stay here we'll do this movement a couple of times so wave forward and then release your knees and down baby cobra inhale here and exhale tuck your toes and really press feel your core engaging so from plank you're going to go to the downward dog and one more time ripple like you're doing a wave forward bend your knees and go down and baby cobra and release and press into your hands from plank to down dog stay here just a couple of breaths and then bend your knees and go into a quadruped position release just a moment in child's pose take a couple of breaths here and then draw this roll up roll up come up nicely done so let's go into a quadruped position so hands are in line with your elbows and your shoulders and knees are in line with your hips we're going to go to into cat, cat and cow so we'll extend our spine inhale extend and exhale bend let's do a nice curve with our spine inhale extend and exhale inhale extend but with control so you're not really leaving releasing completely your abdominals so feel that your pelvic floor muscles are engaged when you go into full extension and then that you are really engaging your rectus abdominis and your obliques to go into that cat a couple more times inhale here extend and exhale curve and one more inhale extend 
exhale into that beautiful curve and come back to neutral from the lower back to the middle back to the upper back and release just a moment so let's extend our right leg back make sure your hips are level so you're not bringing the hip um, back and your opposite arm is gently lifting up the floor so lift both arm and opposite leg and come back down exhale two inhale down and exhale three and keep going feel that you're pressing your right hand onto the floor and your left knee and foot on the floor so you make sure you're really pressing those elements of your body that stayed on the floor a couple more times exhale up inhale down exhale up stay up inhale here and exhaling bend your knee and go into the curl cut so curve your spine inhale extend and exhale curve bring your knee into your elbow and vice versa inhale here and exhale inhale and exhale inhale extend and exhale bend two more inhale and exhale and one more inhale up stay here and release your hand so now we'll, we'll alternate lift your leg up press your foot into the floor lift the other leg up so engage your core to lift this other leg and down right leg goes up down left leg goes up and down so glute right glute here and core and abdominals here inhale exhale up and down and left and down and up and down and up and down one more up and down up and down so now this right leg will go up again so we'll do the kind of a an inverted u letter so we'll go up and to the left so make sure you're watching you're looking at your feet foot inhale and just just really touch gently the floor to the right and to the left and left and right and left and right a couple more times left and right and left and right so come back up center so now go again to the left and look at your toes but then when you come up bend your knee and bring it to your shoulder <sighs> inhale left and exhale <sighs> shoulder inhale left and right and left and right a couple more like this left right and one more left right so bring your legs like back and release and release into child's pose so make sure you're releasing your wrists take a deep breath here and then roll up and we'll do everything on the other side so let's find again our quadruped position left leg extend back so make sure your core is engaged you're supporting your spine and right arm make sure your cervical spine is elongated inhale here and exhale up and down so your pelvis is stable your chest is stable you're using the left glute to lift your leg off the floor and up and down and up and down up down and up and down stay up 
and then move into the cat. Inhale, extend, and exhale two. Inhale, extend, exhale three, and extend four, and exhale five, and exhale. A couple more times like this, and bend, and extend, and bend, extend, stay here, release your right hand. So now we'll do a lift of the leg, left leg, lift the left leg, come back, tuck your toes, and then lift the right to the chest, and come down, and left up, down, right, and down, left, down, right, down, and left, down, right, down, couple more, left, down, right, down, and last one, left, down, right, down. So bring your left leg back up, so bring it to your right and look towards your toes and bring it to your left and right and left. So there's this gentle motion with your leg that goes up and down and you're not really pressing into the floor, you just stay lifted and right and left. One more, right and left, come back to center. Now we'll add the rotation with the bent knee. So look at your toes to the right and then bend your left knee and bring it to your left shoulder. And come back to the right and two. Inhale, come back and three. Come back and four. Come back and five. Your pelvis is stable and your chest is stable. Last one here, right, left, extend your leg back, bend it, and release into child's pose again. And stay here just a couple of seconds. Release your wrists. And then slowly roll up. And roll your shoulders a couple of times. And let's transition into a prone position. So your arms are, you, you're, you're actually pointing your fingertips, you're pressing your fingertips on the floor. And you're um, actually, you have a support in your cervical area. You're pressing your pubic bone into the mat. So your um, legs are active. They're not really released. You uh, have active legs, active glutes. You can press with your feet gently on the mat. Inhale, come up. And exhale. Inhale, come up. So you're gently pressing into your fingertips. And inhale up. And exhale. A couple more. Inhale up. And exhale. And another time. One, inhale, and exhale, and release. So make sure you don't have any strain in your lower back. So if you, if you feel any strain, take a break, or you can think about engaging your abs more to protect your lower back. So here we'll add a little combination. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, extend your arms in a V. Bring your elbows into your chest, into your waistline, and come back down. Inhale up, exhale, V. Inhale, come up, stay up, and exhale, release. Inhale, bring your chest up, keep your spine, cervical spine elongated. Exhale, reach forward into the V and then bring your elbows into your waistline and then come back down couple more inhale exhale v inhale and exhale 
and one more inhale up and exhale reach into the V inhale and exhale release and take a moment here to release then we'll do some um, breast stroke so we'll reach into forward inhale here exhale reach forward and we'll do the whole breast stroke circle with the arm exhale forward inhale extend your chest even more and exhale inhale come up make sure your cervical spine is elongated and exhale inhale up and exhale like you're really swimming you're really moving into water so you're finding resistance in this exercises in this movement couple more inhale extend and exhale release and one more inhale extend exhale release and release your head down well done so move from side to side with your hips just to release a bit your lower back so we're actually going to what in Pilates we call swimming. So extend your arms and legs into a, a V. So uh, we'll prepare by lifting legs and arms five times before going to, into the proper swimming. So inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and down two more times inhale up and down and last one inhale up and down so our aim in swimming is going to be to keep lift to keep arms and legs lifted and to move them alternately so elongate your arms and legs feel your core engaging before you come up and then come up and then start swimming so alternate legs and arms breathe freely here and make sure your your lower back is supported 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 lift up just one more time and then release completely nicely done so now here bring your foot your forehead onto your hands lift your right leg and cross it over to your left so you can twist your lower spine keep your legs long and come back and we'll do the other side so lift your leg and gently twist your spine from the navel down and come back gently and come back to the floor and again the right side so twist and bring your leg center and come down and one more time like this so twist this nice twist that's very Mm, nice on the lower back we'll do a little modification on the next four movements so lift your leg and bring it bring it go into the twist and then bend your knee so think about going further like you want to reach the floor with your toes and then extend your leg and come back to center and switch direction left leg up twist and then bend this knee see if you can reach with your toes the floor with your toes and then extend the leg and come down and now press into your hands and knees and come into a child's pose and stay here a couple of breaths you can always bring your arms on your sides if you wish to and then slowly roll up and come back to a nice seated and straight position very nice so let's start by um, stretching a little bit our hip flexors 
So step your right foot forward. Make sure you have uh, energy in your legs and elongate your spine to the sky and gently press forward. One and come back and two. So you have support in your entire spine and feel that your cervical spine is elongated to the sky. And on your next one, stay here and bring your arms up to the sky. Inhale here and exhale. Like you want to extend your chest. Inhale up and exhale. Bend your elbows. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale up. A couple more times like this. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Bring your arms down. If you feel comfortable here, stay here. Or you can turn to your right, lift your leg, left leg and pull this leg into the glutes. Like you want to bring the heel towards your glutes to feel the left hip flexor really stretching here and start. Keep pressing gently, hips forward and then come back, release. And then bring your weight back Flex your, foot, your front foot and see if you can straighten your spine here. So you can either keep your hands on the floor or on your right knee. Stay here just a couple of breaths. Really open your chest and release any tension in the chest and cervical spine. And then bring the weight forward. And then we'll transition into a plank position to switch leg. So big step with your left foot and release your right foot and come up. So find a moment to uh, stabilize this position. Feel your legs are strong. And they're really supporting you. You're engaging your core to support you. Inhale here and exhale. Press forward with support and come back. And two and come back, three, and one last time. Stay here, bring your arms over your head to the sky, inhale here and exhale, bend. Like you want to bring your elbows to your waistline, two, and up, and three, and up, and four, and five, up, bring your arms down into the mat. So you can either stay here or you can turn to your left and grab your right ankle and pull this leg into the knee, into the glute, the opposite glute. You can do this a couple of times, you can release and then pull it again and then release completely and bring your weight back. Elongate the left leg and flex your foot. You can stay here or you can come a little up. Stay here a couple of breaths. And then release, come back forward and go through that plank again here. And then we'll release and we'll come back to a seated position. To find a comfortable seated position here, it can be cross-legged or you can give, even grab a chair if you would like. Make sure you have your sit bones on the mat. You're really finding that long spine to the sky, the feeling that you're really elongating and you're supporting the entire spine. Your right arm goes up, inhale and exhale, bend. Your sit bones stay on the floor, inhale up, and down and again inhale left le left arm and exhale down inhale up and down and one more time in and exhale inhale up and exhale inhale up and exhale 
up and down and we'll rotate the shoulders just five times two three four and five thank you so much for being here with me i hope you had fun let me know what you think in the comments and uh, subscribe to the channel if you, ha if you haven't already to be updated on the next videos thanks a lot for watching and i hope you'll see you soon bye bye